It's almost time to put the sea ray back into the water. Last summer was amazing with this boat. I had such a good time, so many good memories made. And I will show you some glimpses of it now. All right, so I'm gonna give it a little fresher look. So there's two things I'm gonna do. Number one, I'm gonna do some repair work on that top. On this angle, it looks okay, but it's actually all ripped up. Uh, it needs tons of work. And number two, this color really ages this boat, although it is a very old boat, 1985. Um, I wanna clean up the look of it. I just want to get rid of this creamy color and uh, I'm going to give it a paint job. Just a quick paint job. So if you want to see that, stay tuned. Painting this boat is a lot more work than it seems because all these decals need to be removed. They've been on there for ah, 40 years, almost. There's some here, there's some under here. So all of it has to be sanded and removed and they're literally everywhere. There's some up there. Over there, over there, uh, and it goes all along the entire boat. So you can see this side, they've been sanded off, not at the bottom yet, but at the top. And it's like inch by inch work, tons of work. Uh, and then as you can see, a little bit of progress here. So sanding it off little by little until it's all removed because if I paint over this uh, because of the cracking and everything of these vinyl stickers it's just going to make the paint look terrible and because I'm doing black um, it's going to show really bad so all of these have to be removed along the entire boat up here all along they're just everywhere so these are the little things that you don't realize that take a ton of time to do all right guys all the decals have been removed um, besides some of these little ones that were covered by something so there was a docking hook thing here uh, just unbolted it now I can remove this uh, over here starting to do the trim removal so this wooden step usually sits right there on the boat <clears throat> so i'm unbolting all these so i can clean underneath sand it get the paint underneath and then i'm going to refinish all the wood uh but and 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 as for as for the trims like that one there you know these uh docking uh don't even know what you call these things anyway where you put the rope I'm going to remove all these. I'll be powder coating all of these black. Um, and the wood, I think I'm going to refinish in a nice cherry. 
cherry wood finish. Um, but anyway, so the next step is to remove all of that. I'm just gonna go around the boat, start removing like the horn, remove the horn, remove the lights, uh, you know, more of these anchor, rope anchor things, uh, remove the compartment lids, uh, the wood up here, those woods, gonna remove those, uh, you know, just doing all the detailed stuff now. Um, and then I'm gonna clean it, I'm gonna finish sanding, clean it super, super well. First, I'm gonna wash the entire boat, followed by degreasing it and doing a final wipe on it. Then I'm gonna mask everything off and I'm gonna paint it. And let's see how it goes. All right, starting on the back here, just look at what I'm dealing with. We got years of grime, which literally changed the color down here. It's so gross. Up here on the deck, we got this gray, it's like house paint that can come off with my nail. Disgusting, terrible idea. Uh, up here, more house paint. Uh, this, is, this is just a situation of the boat. You can see how ugly it is. It goes inside like that. It's just so ugly, but I'm determined to make it nice. So wait for the finished product. And I don't have a big garage, not big enough to work on this boat. So literally I'm trying to do some sanding. You can't really see, but there's some damage over here. I can't even see it. So I'm going by feeling and I'm just sanding it. And even when I paint it, I'm not going to be able to see what I'm painting. You can see how close it is to the walls here. It's actually touching here. So when I paint here, there's going to be a little spot where I can't paint. I'll have to touch it up after. But it's just part of working with what I've got. Like I've got no space. So a lot of this I have to do blind. Um, you know, this is, this is just what it is. But... It'll look good. It'll look better than it is. And it'll be cleaner. A couple changes I'll make while I'm back here. So we have the ladder on the left side. The entrance door is on the right. I'm going to remove the ladder. I'm going to relocate it to this side so you can just step on in. And then when this side's empty, I'm going to install a backup 18 horsepower engine uh, on that side. Because if I do it there right now, the engine's gonna be in the way of walking in and I can't put it on this side because the ladder's there. So I think that's gonna work out perfect. 